Hello my friends, welcome to episode 40 of the XLRP campaign. It's gonna be a bumper episode, and it's also gonna be the last episode. <clears throat> I know, sad times. But why, you may ask? Well, it's two things really. The first one is I'm really enjoying 40k Mechanicus. It's a brilliant game, and um, you should definitely uh, give my playthrough of it a chance. Or uh, you can do far worse than just picking it up yourself if you uh, want another turn-based game to play that's actually quite tactical. Um, and I want to get that finished before Urban Warfare comes out is the bottom line. Because um, once Urban Warfare comes out, I want to, you know, go over the content in Urban Warfare, do some challenge runs, um, all that kind of thing. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that basically I kind of feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve in... Um, XLRP, which is, you know, obviously to do some challenge stuff, to do some crazy missions, all that kind of thing, to show off the XLRP content, um, and that doesn't mean like showing off literally everything in the game, there's, there's tons more, but also to just play it at the highest level and thus show um, Extreme TR 2Ks, show him um, how a player who, who plays at my level can pick apart his balance so that he can then get that feedback and understand like how I play and then sort of do something about me as it were so he can get the balance right get the difficulty right and to just give him as much feedback as I can on the mod because his vision more than anything is to create a balanced game as much as possible um, and I really wanted to help him out with that because I like that kind of goal a very noble goal. Um, obviously, um, extended 3025's um, goal is more or less to just add all of the 3025 stuff to the game um, while um, not affecting the classic gameplay. And uh, uh, Rogue Tech obviously is Rogue Tech. Um, so, fitting in with what the sort of design vision of this mod is I really wanted to give him as, as best as I could the kind of feedback that he needed to make this something awesome. So this is going to be a, an extra long episode just for fun. Um, we're going to do some challenge -y type stuff. So we got a one and a half skull here so of course we're going to bring out the lights for fun because why not? It's been a while. Height one and a half skull is probably mostly mediums. Let's bring a medium along. That's not Murica. That feel that feels like uh, a little bit overpowered. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's bring more AC two stuff. That's what we need. Um. So yeah, those are my reasonings. So from from the end of this video uh, onwards. The daily video will be a 40k video until um, a Mechanicus 40, 40k video until such time as Urban Warfare comes out, and then obviously I'll refer to my poll on the Patreon. There is a poll that basically determines what the next campaign will be. <clears throat> it's looking like it will be a Rogue Tech campaign. I mean, actually, the opinions are very split on the Patreon. Um, all the options have got quite a few votes, so um, certainly if you were to pop onto the Patreon, um, even for just a dollar or something, you could actually really swing <laughs> what the next campaign is going to be. Um, <clears throat> and just one thing, I don't like to shill obviously, but just since uh, I'm doing an extra long episode here, and uh, may, maybe you'll all forget by the time uh, by the time the episode is over, but obviously when you support a lot of creators, they uh, <clears throat> you you support them and they continue to produce videos and try and do it as a full-time job and all that kind of thing. I would love to carry on doing this as a full-time job <clears throat> if I could. I'm still stuck in limbo for a while in Norway, so for those of you who didn't know, um, you need a person number. You need a person number in Norway to do anything, and it takes some time to get it. I am due to get that person number within the next couple of weeks and then once I have it I can sort out all those adult things that you need to sort out, you know, like a mobile phone contract and get a bank account. Um, and also you have to do 400 hours of Norwegian lessons 
um, which I'm just going to do those straight away before I find employment because um, that just seems to be a good idea. So, you know, but once all that is done, in theory, I should be looking for um, for work, for a real work. But I would love to just carry on doing this if I could. Um, but that's uh, obviously only going to happen with with support. But just going back to uh, going back to what creators normally offer on Patreon. Um, it's often a vague notion of, um, you know, if you support me, I'll carry on making content, which is fair enough and is obviously true for for uh, for them and for me. But the main difference with my Patreon is um, that you can just buy videos. So if you want more content, you can just buy it. I uh, do a free video every day, and then I do extra videos for every 50 subs. Um, but also every $10 of Patreon support, no matter who it comes from, it's all tallied together. Every whole $10 results in an extra video. Commander. So you can actually just buy more content if you want Hold it. Me. And then that no supports target. me and I can carry on doing this, which, uh, is honestly the most fun thing I've done since, uh, Good to go. since the, uh, Roger that. the army, basically. I did not get, uh, I was in the engineers, so I did not get involved in the suck too much. Maybe if I'd spent <laughs> more time, then uh, I wouldn't be saying that, but you know, whatever. So yeah, that's everything out of the way. Um, basically, I'm really enjoying 40k, so I want to finish that. And hopefully, I can finish it just before Urban Warfare comes out, and then we can do the Urban Warfare stuff, and I'll refer to the Patreon for what the next campaign should be. What's up, um, I have a little while to go before I am fully settled here in Norway. But once I am settled here, obviously if Commander. if the channel is not supported enough for it to be a living, then I will have to, uh, I'll have no choice but to look for real employment, as it were. Quote unquote real employment. Um, and at that time, obviously, I'll still, I'll still make videos and everything, but it'll probably just be two a week, maybe one, uh, one on each day of the weekend. Plus, obviously, any that people have paid for. I will never, let's go. I will ever, I will never not make videos that have been paid for. So every month, all of those extra videos that have been paid for will go out, even if I do have a real job, quote unquote, real job. Did 11 years of a real job. I'm, uh, I'm tired of doing real job. <laughs> I like this. I want to do it forever. <laughs> What's up? Uh, oh well. <clears throat> so yeah, for this episode, I just want to have some fun. And that's why I'm deliberately gimping myself here by running nothing but lights and so on. I figured, Orders? since I can pretty much do any five skull with, um, with the mechs I have, I would uh, bring out the lighter stuff and see what I can get done with them. I'm amazed that we have not detected any enemies yet. Seriously. Here I am, blithering on. Ready for order. Probably causing the odd person to roll their eyes into the back of their head. And, um, we have not encountered the enemy. Acknowledged. <laughs> I mean, the Holding. marker is right there. Advantage. Orders. Acknowledged. There we go. I've got something. Got a lock. It's a seventy ton mech. His support is a pair of lights. I'm receiving you. Overpower rounds, yeah. Get him. I really appreciate all the support that people have given so far, by the way. That's the only reason why I've even considered doing this full-time. I mean, this was just to keep me sane while I waited for my documents to process. Receiving you. Switching country is a long and painful process. More long and more painful than I had imagined it ever being. 
on my way. The funny part is, is that, you know, um, my homeland, Jersey, it's actually quite easy to just turn up and live there. Firing all weapons. But not true for uh, Norway, that is for certain. That's gonna ruin his targeting. I'm ready. Shame I can't find a high ground position with which to shoot this guy. Oh well, whatever. They will be done. We'll get him. And a hail of AC2 fire. We will lay low the heavy. So yeah, that uh, that speech took ten minutes. <laughs> oh, it's on now. I just wanted to really clarify that, you know, my my uh, if you do support me on Patreon, I will literally make videos um, to uh, to match the uh, the donations. So. You can actually buy videos. You're not buying vague promises of more content. You actually are directly buying more content. Which Waiting I will for produce for you. Waiting for orders. You can even buy a whole campaign. No one's done that yet. For any game, it doesn't have to be Battletech. It could be anything I've got. And I have thousands of games. A lifetime of gaming. Waiting for orders. I have got so much stuff. It's a shame, actually, because some of the old games I would really like to show off are uh, very difficult to get running on a modern computer. Which is a shame. The original Syndicate springs to mind. What a, what a classic game that was. Location I can still front. hear it when I'm out in town at night. Move along. <laughs> uh... Let's just carve a hole in this guy. Where is he hiding the ammo? Okay, it's there. In fact, there's ammo everywhere. Confirmed. Not bad. This boy is taking CT damage fast. Leon the Professional. If you haven't seen that movie, by the way, it's a great movie and you should watch it. Committed. There goes some structure. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Stick the boot in now. I await your command. Jumping. Come on, Erby. Get him. Right in his face. Oh no, we missed. We were meant to hit the CT, but we hit the side instead. Ready for orders. Roger that. Oh well. Oh well. Roger that. All right, that'll ruin his chance to hit. So I'm hoping to do some really entertaining and fun matches here on this extended episode. Take my lights to difficult missions. <clears throat> yeah, that was never going to happen. The target is retreating, Commander. Eliminate it before it escapes. You will not get away. Good to go. Wait a minute, why doesn't the Arby go now? Yes, Commander. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. 95? This boy is so dead. Taking the shot. Except if that happens. Oh, the ammo went! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> wrecked. And the horse you rode in on. Of course the exit is here through the enemy. Because why would it be anywhere else? I'm here. Rolling. Let's get the, uh... Let's get the tracers going. 
In fact, probably... Yeah, I've only got tracers here, that'll do. Now let's see how you handle this. Alright, we got a hit. Just one, though. Most unfortunate. Let's get um. Why is one of these AC2s got a great chance to hit and the other one doesn't? I am so confused. Uh, I guess one of the AC2s is just a better AC2? Two evasive pips ignored. Plus 15 damage. Okay, that's why. <laughs> All weapons committed. <clears throat> now that hurt. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. <clears throat> I don't really feel like there's much more to accomplish in this version of X XLRP at this time. But, um... Mr. Extreme... Martha Salazar is uh, is working hard to uh, adjust yes, the many things that were pointed out that he agrees with. He doesn't have to do what I say. That's not how that works. But uh, I think he and I agree on a lot of things in terms of what works and what doesn't. Let's see how you like this. Oh, why? I just wanted one hit. That's all I wanted. Cooking my internal structure. Oh well. Gotta shut down. Can't vent enough heat. Oh well. Ow. There is an enemy down there. Standing by. So it turns out. Commander. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Commander. All functioning systems nominal. Let's it. get him. That'll do it. Critical hit, Commander. Is that the that's the AC twenty one? Ooh. That could have been bad. I could have lost my first pilot there. I didn't realize it was the AC twenty one. Commander? Cry havoc! Let loose the ACs of war. Let's go over power rounds. All oh, that hurt! He's gonna eject. He's got no weapons. Enemy mech. Yeah. Detected. No guns. Ejecting! Okay, that's a large laser commando. I presume. 45 tons, don't know what that is. Receiving you. Yes, commander. Let's see, should I just punch this guy and see if we can break him? Copy that. Get rid of his evasion while we're at it. Ugh. Oh! There goes the small laser. We hit the wrong arm. That hit something good. Orders. Sadly, we did not reduce his evasion enough. Let's try this. Targeting for an alpha strike. Nice. Nice. Critical hit, commander. Okay. Now the evasion's gone. No, that's just a normal commando, so whoever... It must be this 45-tonner that shot me with a large laser. Waiting for orders. Whatever it is. Come on, this guy's destabilized. Let's go with over power rounds. Wow, that was a horrible shot. The Cobra strikes. Hmm. 
He did not shoot. I am shocked that he did not shoot. Ooh, okay. Weapon's gone. He's out of here. You got no weapons, you eject. Pretty simple, really. Can't blame the guy. Waiting for orders. Now he's at his go, I can strip his evasion and uh cool this guy down at the same time. Ready for orders. That's within minimum range, isn't it? Looks like this is gonna be a block shot no matter where I shoot from. Onward. Firing all weapons. Oh right, that looked like it hurt. I am kind of shocked with how much auto cannons miss. It seems like they miss way more than advertised. Roger, full speed. What is that? Oh, I can't see it. I heard the beep. I must have only revealed it for a fraction of a second. Scored a critical hit. Probably, I don't know, blackjack maybe? What else has got a large laser in the medium class that's 45 tons? Apart from a bad blackjack. Let's go with precision rounds here, across the board. All weapons committed. There we go. Jesus, nothing left of it. Enemy mech. Ah, damn. Let's do this. Diggity. Holding for tactical advantage. The AI is clueless when it comes to terrain like this. Seriously. Orders. So bad. On my way. Double time. It is a blackjack. That should not have been a surprise. Let's see how you like this. Oh, 7 HP! And an engine crit. And the gyro is gone. I'm pretty sure that this boy is dead. And that this LRM blast will be the final push he needs off the cliff. Boom! Nice. Mission successful. Easy. Look at that. <clears throat> we took three lights and a medium into a one and a half skull assassinate and we just kicked ass. Kicked ass here today. Uh, maybe we push the boat out a bit more. Do something crazy. <clears throat> Do something that offends Darius. Commander. Um, these boys are quite close to being maxed out. Training confirmed, Commander. I'm ready for orders. I'm ready. Cool shot mastery. Mech warrior training complete. Orders. Training complete. A little bit of extra overheat threshold never hurt anybody. Commander.
Training confirmed, Commander. Save Martha! Do you want overheat threshold or do you want max evasion? Mech warrior training complete. Oh, yeah, max evasion is probably a little bit better actually. What's up, boss? Good to go. Training complete. Okay, let's go and do something else. <clears throat> I'm actually really looking forward to playing some 40k now. Um, believe it or not, I've I've really been enjoying it. It's it's uh, well, it's like it's like BattleTech in that it's a it's a proper strategy game, and your tactics actually really matter. And if you don't believe that, then go and play it on the on very hard settings, and just tr just stand there like a melon and and uh, try and fight the enemy. Uh, you will die. <laughs> I promise you. Alright, two and a half skull battle in the desert. Let's see if we can once again pull this off with our team of lights and one medium. I wouldn't mind bringing America along. He's a classic. Will this set up offend Darius? That's my question. Yes, it will. <laughs> I don't think that's enough, mate. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, well, you're not me, Darius, are you? So get over it. <clears throat> Do an entire campaign where the only missions I can accept are the ones that offend Darius. I'm not quite sure how the calculation is done as to whether Darius will be offended or not. It might just be something really benign, like you know, you you have like one skull less weight. Something like that. I could very easily lose this, by the way. These lights are not... They're not great. <laughs> they were built in a time before I had the faucet of lost tech. Confirmed. Well, this is certainly a good map for us. We can park up on the mountain and rain glorious AC2 pain down upon the enemy. What's up, boss? I live to serve. Engaging jump jet. Receiving you. Roger. Okay. Waiting for my opening. I guess there are some vehicles out there because, uh. Engaging jump jets. There's definitely a pause going on while the enemy decides Commander? to do whatever. Got it, Commander. If I can just get over here, I'm good. Waiting for orders. What's up, boss? On my way. <clears throat> this double PPC Panther is uh, was a horrible idea, <laughs> but <laughs> here it is. Here we go again. Acknowledged. I'm here. Okay. 
Roger that. Oh. He's got an unknown on sensors. Lipty blop. A full health vindicator. Standing by. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Acknowledged. Allow me to show you the awesome power of being able to shoot from across the map. Whee! Both missed. How glorious. That's a miss. Wow, the LRMs are out of range. Okay, they're not out of range from there. They're not out of range from there. I just need to move slightly forward. Hello. Commander. Can you make the shot? I guess it doesn't really matter where I hit with these. I'm not going to kill him in one go. Locking in all weapon systems. Oosh, doosh. Hmm. <clears throat> Sweet. Reserving action. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Okay. What is that? That is the weirdest trebuchet. It does not have any LRMs. I'm so confused. Orders? No way to get a good clean hit here. I guess the dragon's easier to hit because it's a heavy. But he's also in cover. Good to go. Okay, where can I put you where you still have lock? Kinda want a sensor lock. I'm your spaniel. Could have used the old PPC machine to do it. Waiting for orders. Maybe if I just jump down. To here. Engaging jump jet. We're gonna have to work hard if we wanna win this fight, that is for certain. Waiting for orders. Go! Good hits! Do I want precision or overpower? Let's go with precision. In this range. Oh, he's got a breach. It's full of heat sinks, though. Yes, Commander. I think I've got the same chance to hit no matter what here. So, Tracer's counter evasion, but he hasn't got any. So, I might as well fire overpowers. Nasty. Ooh, that hit something good. He in trouble now. Aye, aye. Who said that you can't use the AC2's range on these small maps?
Uh, no, it's not quite in range. How close do I have to be to get a good shot with the LRMs? Pretty close. Like, closer. Uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with precision over power. Why not? Let's see what we can get done. In fact, this is the perfect mech for a precision strike. All weapons committed. Oh, boom! <clears throat> Enemy mech, critical damage detected. The entire side of the mech is gone. I'm receiving you. I'm going. From the grassy knoll, the Irby doth strike. He stalks his pet prey from the mountaintops. He knows only his hatred. Oh, ho, ho, that hurt. The Cobra strike. Commander. That boy is as good as dead. Lifting off. What do we got? Centurion A, the weird trebuchet, Grand Dragon, there's some other enemy. What we have is a lot of enemies. Firing. Scored a critical hit. Orders? Uh, nothing to do here. Confirm. Finish the job. Boom. One now. down. Sixty tons. Champion! Apart from the AC-10, seems to have nothing but a short-range loadout. My panther laughs at your attempts to spot. That Grand Dragon is like stood completely still. I copy. Roger that. Standing by. Ow. That hit. Should have moved. Receiving you. Up high. Now, do I brace? Or do I lock? I think I brace. I'm sure they move forward. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. This is a lot of enemies. Ouch. We're taking hits. They are still too far away at the moment. Let's put a hold in this boy. Oh, beautiful! Command. 
If we could hit him in the CT here, this could be a very quick end. Welcome to my Alpha Street. Oh! Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my god, that was brutal. Standing by. Do the math, chief. And you know what? This gives me a chance to just cool down my panther. Slightly. Reserving action. <laughs> who, th who knew the AC2 would become such a great sniping tool? Okay, we got a full health blackjack. Somewhat short range version. Orders. Get to work on this boy. From say here. Copy that. Hello. Got a lock. We have got luck. I hope you are ready for pain, my friend. Oh, good hits! Ready for orders. Confirmed. Just jump my Irby back. Let's go. In fact, see if we can punch a hole in him and we'll go for the CT or break the side. Let's break the side if we can. Bon appetit. Oh, lovely. I think I hit something good. That is a whole lot less firepower he's yes, got Commander. now. Pull back. Welcome to my grassy knoll. Acknowledge. Oh. Oh well. Damn it. We'll get him next time. Yes, Commander. Waiting for the shot. Waiting for tactical advantage. Standing by. Jumping. Have your revenge. Locking in all weapons systems. Ooh. It was not fatal, but it definitely hurt. Vincenti's getting the work done here as the scout. I'm ready. Urban Mix getting the work done as a murdering machine of doom. Primitive. Ooh, we did not actually hit anywhere vital. Good to go. Not yet. On it. Go! Ah, uh, there goes all his weapons. Critical hit, Eject! This heat is cooking my internal structure. Sweet. Come on then, Mr. Grand Dragon. You're next. He 
He's keeping his distance. Little does he know that that just plays into my hands. Let's go. All weapons committed. Nice. Not enough to uh, evasion strip him, but the Grand Dragon is not known for its great health. So, ready for orders. Every hit matters. Heading out. I'm gonna shut myself down here doing this, but it's worth. Plus, shutting down gets rid of my heat faster. All weapons are go. Nice, they both hit. Shutting down. My heat gauge is pegged. That's fine. That's what I wanted. Okay. Nope, one more. There we go. These boys can't do anything. Apart from waste LRMs, it would seem. Okay, this should destabilize him. Nice! Oh, the ammo's there! He's in trouble. He is in trouble. If only I had a precision shot. A hit in the ammo. Right to that. And it's all over. Ready for orders. Uh, okay. Disengage. Disengage for now. I could like rush in and try and shoot his ass, try and explode the ammo, but I don't think it's worth the risk. I wonder what this dotted line means. Firing jump jet. Oh well, whatever. Ooh, a 70 ton mech. Let's see what he does. He's only got like a couple of long range weapons here, which I can easily tank. Damage minimal. Is morale recovered to normal? What's up, boss? That amuses me. Orders. Considering the danger he's in. Uh, I could run there. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind as an option. Waiting for the right move. Okay. Overpower rounds. Let's go. Let's break. Let's break this mech. All weapons. Oh, the ammo went. It's over. Enemy mech destroyed. Brutality. I'm telling you, man, extreme. I know you're watching this. You gotta do something about that ammo. <laughs> it is too easy for a human to make a mockery of the AI by targeting the ammo. I copy. The time has come to cool down a little bit. Just a little bit. Taking a protective stance. Even wasting turns with the auto cannon dudes is worth it because it gets rid of the recoil. Stand 
Standing by. Copy that. Yes, Commander. Commander. I do not believe that I will have a uh, a shot with anything but this panther here if I do this. Sadly, not a rear shot. 680 health, 600. This is actually quite a weak mech. Is there ammo in there? No. 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 Where is the ammo? The ammo is in the opposite side to the weapon, okay. Glad that made sense. Targeting for an alpha strike. But we can certainly give this boy a little uh a little poke to let him know that we're thinking about him. That's a lot of damage on that side. Good to go. Got it. Yes, Commander. Ready for orders. Ha! <laughs> that would be glorious, but um, probably also very stupid, so I'm not going to do it. Understood. Moving fast. I'm going to move here and hope they come round the corner into my kill zone. Ah, looks like they're thinking about it. He's here. He's arrived. Standing by. He is in the kill zone. Acknowledged. Kill him. Copy that. Oh, beautiful. Solid connection on that one. Strategy, my friends. Strategy. Let's put this one on tracer mode. I keep clicking on the actual weapon. All weapons committed. Oh, I missed. I missed the one that had more chance to hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I'm your spaniel. I am your spaniel. Affirmative. Oh, I did it again. Punching all the buttons. Nice! Solid connection on that one. And there goes his evasion. Standing by. Commander? Um. Kill him? What have you got? An AC 10. Two medium lasers. Location confirmed. Go. Firing all weapons. Good hit. Good hit. He's stressed. He's afraid. He's afraid! Waiting for orders. Let's go with... OP rounds. Roger that. I'm gonna jump down here and then next turn I'm gonna jump onto the other side. Confirmed. Nice. 
This just in. Critical hit. Commander. Punch a hole right in the middle. Wow, he's body he's actually done a body block there. That's unusual for the AI to do something smart. It's not gonna help though. Enemy mech destroyed. Enemy mech shrek. This, uh, one of the biggest weaknesses of Battletech is the AI's handling of terrain like this. It just has no idea how to engage with the terrain. Receiving you. So you just end up in a situation where it literally can do nothing against you know, tricky terrain play like this. Look at all this ammo. Either side is good. Roger that. Either side is good if you hit, I suppose. Should have been the right thing to say. Um, Orders? Okay, I'll tell you what. You sensor lock him. Sensors locked on. What's up, boss? And since the other guy's all the way over there, you can just stand still. Put a hole in this idiot. Here it comes. Oh, that's gonna do it. No, we didn't get the ammo. Inflicted some heavy damage. This heat is cooking my internal structure. We did not. It's too high. Commencing shutdown. We did not get the ammo. It did not blow up. Mistakes were made. They will be done. And here it comes. Well, he lost his main weapon. So that's good. Now we're in a situation where we need to kill this guy. Fast. All weapons. Oh, that hurt. Donk. Enemy mech destroyed. Orders. All oh, right. <laughs> Look how much damage we've taken. None on the Panther. None on the urban mech. A little bit on the. Uh, on the trebuchet and uh, a little bit more on the panther. Just just think about all the mechs we have killed in this mission and how little we've paid for it. The, the, the valley is littered Lingering. with the bodies of so medium mechs and heavies itself. that weren't bright enough to do anything about my ambush here. Receiving you. Poor Irby. Standing by. I might take damage from the last guy. Firing jump jet. Just because in my laziness, Let's go. I will uh, just run Got at it. him. Waiting for orders. Here we go. Let's lock his ass. I've got a sensor lock. Okay, it's a cat fright. I've only got sixty missiles left. That is okay. Engaging target. He is the last of his kind, and any damage I do to him is gonna stress him out. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. I await your command. Go, my little trash can. Hold on.
holding for the right opportunity. Uh, I have, uh, I have no idea how to engage this guy gracefully. I'm just going to hit him till the candy comes out, basically. Engaging jump jets. A bit like this. All weapons committed. Yes, that definitely hurt. Standing by. On my way. Double time. Let the shooting continue. On it. Okay, that did not do as much damage as I thought it would for uh, four hits. <laughs> yes, Commander. Affirmative. I thought this boy would have a shot, but he does not. I might as well sensor lock because I got nothing else got to a do. Sensor lock. Commander. Behold, I take flight. You do not really take flight in an urban mech, do you? Waiting for orders. Let's be honest here. Affirmative. Roger that. Nice. Um, Receiving you. Okay, now I can shoot. I copy. This will, of course, screw up his chance to hit. I live to serve. Jumping. The Irby is slowly, slowly, slowly finding his way into the fight. Where's his ammo? There. And there. He's got ammo everywhere. All weapons committed. Alright, what are you gonna do? You're destabilized. You've got some opportunities here. Because I've gotten lazy. That is more damage than all damage the other mechs light. combined has done throughout this entire fight. <laughs> And that's just because I, uh, I just stood there, basically. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. I'm ready. Oh, look, I can actually just walk to a good shot. Onward. See how you like this. Yeah, that made some holes. How about we make a few more? Holding for tactical advantage. All weapons committed. Oh! AC2 wins! Fatality! Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. Well, that was brutal. This is one of my biggest problems, and it's not entirely XLRP's fault. A lot of it is the base game's fault. But, uh, <clears throat> there, is, there is no challenge to be had. They could have been assaults and I would have probably been able to slowly pick them off. Um, maybe I would have run out of ammo before I did, but, you know. This damage only occurred at the end because I just, I got lazy. One, two, three, four, five, six... I think there were seven enemies, so I'm not sure what happened to the seventh kill. Maybe because he died of an ammo explosion or something, I don't know. Um, at least in the base game, the high chances to hit offset the AI not being able to play the game. Basically, no, no easier or nicer way to put it. Um, with permanent evasion... It becomes just so difficult for the AI to really do anything.
that said, you know, that whole fight was LOS control in a nutshell. So, there was that too. Yeah, it's, uh... It's a shame, really. I very much enjoyed this campaign, and early on I very much hugely enjoyed it. Um, I feel like we need to really address permanent evasion um, because the AI can't cope with it and even with the better AI you know um, mod that makes the AI cope better with permanent evasion it still doesn't cope better with permanent evasion it just doesn't do evasion strip shots anymore and uh, just fires everything but firing everything repeatedly has got its own problems you know, someone's got six evasion and you just fire everything and nothing hits and now your mech is overheating. That's not... That's not great, either. So the AI does need to do strip shots. It makes sense for that logic to be there. And so the only way that you can, as a modder, you can balance around that is to have evasion that diminishes. Even if you make it so that there's slightly more tokens. I don't know. It's something that needs to be to be looked at and thought about. Maybe I'm off base with that, I don't know. You know, I mean, not everyone plays like I do. Um, I'm sure you guys appreciate that. Um, in the later game, assaults can only really generate like two or three, four tokens at times anyway. So maybe it's less of an issue. Um, but that said, once you know that the AI can't cope with permanent evasion, it's way too easy to just be like, right, I'm going to make sure that all my mechs can generate at least four tokens at all times. And then, unless the AI melees you, or otherwise destabilizes one of your mechs, I feel like you can just do whatever you like to the AI, and it and it will not be able to do anything to fight back. So, uh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> I could totally buy that. It's one of the, uh, one of the new mechs. Let's just buy it just to look at it. It's the last episode anyway. New battle mechs available. Why not? Can't, can't afford the bongo drum mech, but... We can buy a silly, uh, a silly 40 tonner. It looks cool. It's a shame it's not cool, but <laughs> it looks cool. You know, it's got three ballistic hard points. You could make a nice little AC2 sniper out of it. If you're playing XLRP. The AC2 is actually a good weapon. I think I've just demonstrated that. If you were to strip out all this nonsense, I tell you what, with four with four missile banks, this could be a really nasty SRM boat. Really nasty. Let's get that ridiculously overpowered core out of here. Let's say four jump jets for standard engagement. Uh, 170 core? Yeah, 170 core. Perfect. That leaves... Uh, 18.5 tons. Let's go with full armor. So say you're going to brawl with it. So, okay. If you're going to snipe with it... If you were going to snipe with it, then you could do something like... Three of these... Where's the other? Oh, the other ones are in the uh, thing. Okay, so that gives you quite a lot of sniping power. 150. Four jump jets, which gives you the mobility to really be in the hills and snipe people from miles away. And then, uh, 
you're going to need some ammo to run all that, obviously. So if you've got some uh, ferrofibrous or something, you can probably squeeze an a, a ton of ammo in here and keep the, the stock armor profile. Otherwise, your only choice would be to remove one of these and then armor it up, thus becoming the uh, the Irby, but mobile and harder to kill. Maybe you can find a small cockpit or something. Still, I, I think you could do three. Three AC2s in here as a sniper, pretty easily. For those of you who are playing XLRP. So weird that the AC2 is actually a good weapon that I can recommend. Okay, so let's go down to this engine. Say. That gets you uh that gets you a ton and a half of ammo. Don't forget that you can get half tons of ammo. The AC2 is not a thirsty boy. One one can gets you a long way. You could go with uh, precision ammo for when you really need to, to hit the target with all these plus 20 damage bonuses. Maybe OP ammo as well. I don't think special ammo comes in halves though. So you might have to shed a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of weight. Or if you've got a spare uh, ferrofibrous around, that would be solid build. But anyway... Let's say you don't want a sniper. Let's say you wanted a uh, a brawler. Go back to uh, four jump jets. Go back to the 180 engine. Wherever I left it, uh, under the heat sinks panel. Does the 170... The 170 is also got four jump jets, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I did last time. Um, armor up, because it's going to be a brawler. And then... Uh, get some banks in here. Wow, you really could almost get a full set. If you had uh, fur fibrous, you could then get some ammo on top. <laughs> this might run a little bit too hot, to be fair. Probably a bridge too far. I would suggest a pair of fours. Something like that. And then you're looking at a nice even amount of missiles here. 20 per volley. Get your cans in, actually hide them in the CT because of the ammo rules. They're gonna explode otherwise. And then you'll actually probably want to just tone down the armor slightly. Once again, if you've got some ferrofibrous, you could stick that in. Something along those lines. Oh yeah, you get free heat sinks because of the engine. So maybe you don't even need to tone down the armor. 33 over 40. Perfect. You could pop, you could probably shed a heatsink here, maybe, but that said, if it, you'd be using the jump jets all the time to maintain your mobility, so probably wise to uh, keep the heatsinks, unless you fit one of those sweet cockpit mods that reduce the heat per weapon fired. Because minus three off of all of these would be pretty significant. You know, that's uh, that's 12 heat gone. Just like that. And with 12 heat gone, 
you would actually be below threshold, although you would still start heating up if you're jumping all the time. So you could, in theory, possibly uh, rack back up to a uh, to a six or four sixes, and then this thing would actually live up to its name as the assassin. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Right. Um. An hour and 15 minutes, this has basically almost been a double episode. Um, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the XLRP campaign. I hope you will consider uh, supporting me in on the 40k Mechanicus thing, even if you just watch it. It's really good. Um, I'm really enjoying it, so I hope that you'll, you'll watch it with me. And uh, to all my Patreon supporters, please vote for the next campaign. Let me know what it is that you would like to see. And uh, in terms of Battletech, the next Battletech thing will undoubtedly be when Urban Warfare drops. Um, in the meantime, we're just going to play some 40k just uh, to have a break from Battletech so people don't get completely burned out on it. And, uh, and that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.